Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am incredibly happy to present you with my July plan with me video. For the month of July I went a little bit overboard. I really hope that you've seen my June plan with me and my June week weekly videos and you know that in June I kind of went an easy way and used a lot of stickers but for the month of July I went full in and did a lot of drawings. Obviously, in the very first place, I'm really happy to show you the cover page and the quote page I've done. It took a little bit of time, it took a lot of practice, but I'm pretty happy with how my watercolor painting starts looking. I feel like it looks better than it used to. And it definitely was a lot of fun to draw this kind of sandy beach and some waves on top of it. When I was partially done with my cover page, I decided to switch to the quote page. For the quote page, I just did this little circle with uh, some nice beach chairs, a little umbrella, and again, the sea or the ocean or the lake or whatever you actually feel like it is. It's just so relaxing. It basically screams holiday, relaxation, rest, summer, and that is what we all need, for sure. First I decided to do this little outline of all the drawings, and then I just uh, went ahead and used my watercolor to paint it all. It was a little bit more tricky to try to stay in the shape of the circle because I realized a little bit too late I didn't really have any way to protect the corners like I did on the right side with washi tape. But I feel like I've done a pretty good job of staying in the shape of the circle. And it was a lot of fun trying to figure out good colors. and. Pinterest is definitely a big help when you don't really know how to paint something. I just looked for beach umbrella, beach uh, chair, and I had so many different options to choose from and it was definitely uh, very helpful.
This time I finally listened to my own advice, which I keep repeating all the time, is not to rush and give the watercolor time to dry. So I did the little breaks here and there just to make sure that the paint is fully dried and I'm not gonna smudge anything all over the page like I did in I think every month of the year so far. Uh, it definitely helped that I had two paintings to work on at the same time so I was just giving one of them a break and then switching to another and I feel like it was a really good balance between both of them and the timestamps. Obviously, what kind of water scenery would it be without any bubbles, without any white in it? So I just went ahead and used some of the white watercolor and I just let it a little bit dry so I could still have this um, more permanent line but still would be able to smudge it so it looks kind of nice on the water part. As for the quote this month, I decided to go with a very simple, very short, as free as the ocean quote, just because I feel like I personally need a little bit of freedom, a little bit of calmness in my life, and just a little bit of relaxation and balance.
And of course, we are finally ready for the most satisfying part of this whole drawing process is peeling off this washi tape. It was incredibly satisfying, it did get stuck a little bit, but eventually I managed to scrape it off and it turned out really, really good. Moving on to the calendar page. Uh, with the calendar, I decided not to invent anything new. I just did all these boxes everywhere. I'm gonna save a little bit of your time and skip the majority of me sketching it all out because, oh boy, it's tedious. But yeah, I just went with all the regular boxes, did some boxes for my Instagram and YouTube trackers, just as usual. And uh, around the calendar and around the, all the boxes, I just did a little bit of doodles with a little ball. Yes, I didn't count the segments, so it is asymmetrical. I'm really sorry, it bugs me as well. Also, we have a little bit of an umbrella, and on top we have a little seagull. I'm pretty happy how it looks. It looks a little bit less advanced as I would want it to be, but it still looks very cozy, I would say. And after finishing all the doodles, obviously, I couldn't go without painting again. So I just used the same watercolor to draw absolutely the same logic. It is a nice peach with some relaxation and the ocean. It was definitely a little bit easier to work on this drawing because I already kind of knew the idea of what I was doing and what colors I should use. But just like I said, I messed up a little bit with the ball and its segments, so it's a little bit awkward shaped. But eventually I am very happy with how this calendar layout looks like, just because it is useful, it is easy, simple, and it still looks quite pretty. And now we are ready to move on to probably what is the most fun and the most unusual page in this um, setup. It is my habit and my mood tracker. I decided to go a little bit different way this time and I did the same drawing on the bottom, 
but all these uh, summer rest beach accessories are my mood tracker so all the chairs all the bowls a little bit of the towel blanket thing and obviously the both of the umbrellas are serving as my mood tracker so i counted hopefully the correct number of gaps and for each day i'm just going to be filling in the color i haven't figured out the colors yet but i'm pretty sure it's not going to be that difficult because usually i go the warmest is the best and the coolest tone is the lowest mood And on the left side, uh, left page, you can of course see my habit tracker. Incredibly simple, just uh, six boxes for each day of the month. And I'm just gonna color it, the right number, anything basically to just make sure to track that this day, check, done, managed. because obviously my mood tracker was a little bit different this month I had a spare page to do basically anything I had any clue for summer is for me usually the time I try out something new I get new experience and this summer for me was extra special for uh, personal reasons and I just decided to do this summer memories page where I did these uh, five stamps shaped um, frames which I am going to fill in with special memories close to my heart which I would want to cherish and remember for a very long time and I feel like with this kind of style it looks extra special and extra fun to look at And of course, you guessed it, I had to paint again. I definitely did a lot more painting in the month of July than I did in any other month, but I feel like it was something that I really wanted to do, and this was the whole purpose of me using the bullet journal with thick enough paper for drawing this year, so I could use this strong wish to paint more because usually when I really want to paint I don't really have the means I don't really have the paint I don't really have any possibility but with these a little bit obligatory monthly setups I definitely paint a lot more than I used to and that was the whole point of me using this body journal And just like that, we are ready for the final flip through. I am 
very, very proud and very, very happy with how this month turned out to be. It is very colorful, it's incredibly summery, very vacation inspired, and I am definitely incredibly excited to use it a lot and to use it hopefully every single day. Thank you very much for watching my video and I hope to see you next time.